All right. I am almost 100% done. I did some minor modifications. As you can see, I turned it around with the swing door out to the back because my dumb ass bought a short whip wire that will connect and it wasn't long enough. So I turned it to the side, leveled it out and just got done installing a wire door as you can see I got the battery charger hooked up and I had to move that to the opposite door <coughs> excuse me and I built me some ramps in case I got a take out the generator from the box for any reason and then I also installed an intake exhaust vent for where the muffler is because I took the uh, cover plate off of it to make shift exhaust on it and all that is is a I think it's like a two waves tailpipe then a, a 18 inch flexi hose muffler flexi hose and I used a filofoam fire retardant filofoam and the way I attach that is as you can see got an adapter inside there I'm gonna put a wrap around that tomorrow I got some L brackets and some commercial grade magnets to attach that and keep it attached to the exhaust on the muffler so in case I ever need to take the generator out all I have to do is just basically unhook it from the magnets with no disassembly needed and to make sure that doesn't leak and I already tested it I'm gonna put this exhaust repair kit on that portion tomorrow since it's gonna be raining I'm gonna let it run and I'm also gonna uh, that's just a gasket maker uh, high temperature gasket maker sealer I'm gonna also put that on that end just to be on the safe side I test ran it a couple minutes ago and the vent fan was blown out. The exhaust pipe, it was putting out some decent heat. I don't got my thermostat, thermometer, whatever you want to call it. I didn't attach that yet. I do got it though. I'll show you what kind I did get. Don't mind, don't mind the mess. Don't mind the mess. And this is going to be the interior exterior thermometer. I'll keep one inside the box to keep a gauge on the temperature and it comes with the sensor that I'll keep inside with me and it alert me when it's uh, if it goes off to a predetermined temperature if it gets above that it'll alert me so the Accurite interior exterior one will be inside the box with the generator when it's running. The alarm sensor modulator will be upstairs with me in case anything does go awry. And I'll know it, it'll alert me to it. But I also have to run, again, I'm almost done. And on these vents, uh, like I say, I use 
gasket maker and sealant. It's already sealed, but I just want to make sure it's double sealed. I put the one vent today and around the interior where the wood was, I covered it with the sealer uh, to make sure the wood didn't burn and cause a fire. Now inside, if you remember off my other video, I have a uh, high temperature engine paint that I sprayed this wall and this wall with in case uh, the sound deadening material that I put on the wall uh, overheats or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm taking all precautions, give or take. This is my first rodeo with this, so I'm taking out all the bells and whistles. Now, once all that's said and done, the only thing I have left to do is run the ground wire to the copper rod that I will be installing. Again, don't mind the mess, I'm cleaning up. All of this is scrap wood that I use and uh, I start 15 million projects at once and I never get to finish them in succession. I do four or five at a time. So I got a 50 foot copper wire that I'm going to ground out to the generator just in case and I'm going to run it all the way to just about right there. About five feet in front of that makeshift 55 gallon dog barrel house that I got sitting to the side. So just in case something happens and uh, precautions taken care of, I'm doing everything and anything I can. But this is basically finished if you want to say it. It's just minor tweaks, bells and whistles. And this is what we will be using come uh, basically any kind of weather, not even necessarily winter, but basically any weather where we lose power for a significant amount of time. And uh, like I said, I shut everything down. I closed it all. I had it running inside. Uh, it's loud from back here, up front. You can sort of hear it, but not really. You know something's running in the back if you stand in the front. I don't have a decibel meter, but the difference between night and day is when you turn this corner right here, it uh, drops dramatically, but you can still hear it from the front. Um, and the only reason why the it's noticeable back here is because of all these vents that I got. I didn't know how many to put. Again, I, I want intake air and exhaust also the exhaust so there's also always a constant flow of fresh air inside to keep uh, the damn thing running when it needs to run that's what I'm going to end up doing I don't know if I put too many I don't know if I didn't put too much um, worst case scenario I still have three more four inch vents that I weren't screened over but bought a little small sheet of uh, aluminum screening and uh, made a makeshift screen on it keep the varmints out insects, bees, whatever you know what I'm saying so it doesn't make this box their home but this is going to be a finished project here soon and uh, I'm glad because I'm tired of fucking with this goddamn thing but this is what I got going on I'm almost done, almost complete I've been procrastinating the last week and a half, two weeks, three weeks, and I uh, didn't end up doing what I needed to do, and it's my fault. Like I said, I start a dozen projects at once, and I never finish them all, and then I lose motivation, and then I just say to hell with it until I muster up enough energy to finish one or two or three of the dozen. And uh, this is what I got going on. This is my do-it-yourself generator box. I'm pretty happy with it. I can tell you one thing. If we if we lose power in the wintertime, this whole section right here is going to be snow-free, frost-free, ice-free. Because that exhaust is uh, pretty prominent. So... Like I say, I could have cut that tube down just a tad bit, but again, I, I did it on the fly and I wasn't thinking, so I got it this way. I'm going to leave it that way. So, 
it is what it is.